What time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. You know just where it's at. Right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram. That's Geekly Amanda. G E E K L Y Amanda. It's the same on Twitter. Make sure to follow me there too. It's time to get this reaction video started. All right. Yeah. Love you. Right, y'all. It is Mahabharat season 16, episodes what, 8 through 13 review or 8 through 14? 8 through 14 episode review. Let's get it started, y'all. Lad, when we left off, we saw that, you know, that mean prince sent his brother in law, the one married to his sister, off, you know, to, to the Pandavas, and he done captured and kidnapped Drapati. He captured her and kidnapped her. He was about to take her off because, you know, this is like their last day of the 12 years in exile. And then they got to go into, you know, the the um, undercover. Like nobody can, can they have to go into hiding like a year. Nobody can recognize them. And if they get recognized, they got to start the whole 13 years over, or at least do, do 12 years in exile. And then the one year, you know, undercover again. They have to keep repeating it if that last year somebody recognizes them. Well, you know that I mean, Prince. It was it, they the last day and they of the twelve years, and they're gonna about to go into hiding. And and he sent that that brother in law to kidnap her and mess up the plans because of like, oh look, I saw them. On they got to start their twelve years over again. Well, you know what? They ain't gonna get right away with that stuff. Cause who shows up? Our June. Oh, our June shows up. And and saves the day, my Arjun. <laughs> he even so he he got Drapati. Like they stopped. They were like, uh oh, yeah. And, and they were like, we can't fight. Like I think that was like a promise. No promising, promising the thirteen years they can't fight and all this stuff. Well, um, Arjun didn't even. Fight. He was he shot this arrow, made everything like dust come up. Nobody can see anything. And when all the dust settles, they're gone. Oh, they got away. They ain't finding my Pandavas. No, they ain't. They come up, you know, in the town next we see them. And is it Virat, Virat, Virat town? And that's where they all stay in cover. Because you know they got that boon that nobody can recognize them. So first, what do we see? We see first Beam. There's Beam as the cook. I was like, ain't that a better way to have, if Beam wasn't, you know, the Pandava and, and have the job of running the kingdoms and protecting and all, he would be a great cook. <laughs> and I don't know, it, it's just funny to hear them because he starts talking his voice, like he has masking his voice and everything in there, cooking, cooking up his ladoos, sending them, you know, because all the others are there too, but they stay separate because then he send them to the one little twin and he's over there, like he's over there taking care in the barn, taking care, and got a hunchback. I was like, oh, they really undercover. He got a hunchback over there in the barn. And then the other twin, he's in hot, like, they start showing all of them. And he, the hunchback, I think he's disguising his voice too. And then they have, uh, you, you see, uh, UD, he's, he's friends with the, the, the kingdom guy there, the, the, uh, the prince or, or the king, the king of Varad or whoever. Yeah. He's friends. He's been helping them. That's how, that's how those, uh, Kur, that's how Sha Shakuni and the mean prince, they found them because they looked at all the kingdoms and saw we're prosperous. So I was like, already you know that, you know, UD and them, they're going to come to a country or, or a town or a kingdom and, and they're going to make it prosperous. They're going to rule, you know, smart. That's what's UD over there doing? I wanted to scream at him. They're going to show UD with, with, you know, that king, of the, the guy in the kingdom and everything and playing dice. I was like, UD. You done learned your lesson. Is it, that's what you're going to do this year? Play dice? I wouldn't. You should have like uh, some kind of boon. <laughs> I don't know a boon. But something that you can never pick up dice again. He, I was like, yeah, after all that happened, you're going to really pick up a thing of dice and play the game. No, Yudi. You're done with the dice. But he made friends with, I mean, if you're going to make that kingdom prosperous he made friends with them and and that's why they have he Drapati's there and she's kind of like the maid to to his wife the queen you know and then who do you see I was like there's Arjun dressed as a girl always Arjun's always the prettiest girl <laughs> playing his little music doing his little dances I was like Arjun you just you're just so too cute as a girl that's why they got you as a girl all the time so who shows up at that mean prince Shakuni and and, and brothers 
to that town because they thought they were there coming up in there like you're they're like Pendavis are hiding here let them uh, turn them over and, and he's like I don't know no Pandavas ain't no Pandavas come up in here talking about where the Pandavas and and he's like well they're in hiding and and then they got the general of this town I mean they have the king but that general what's his name to key check oh he's a bad guy he's a bad one I don't like that key check well he's you know he's always out for himself he ain't gonna turn the Pandavas over although it hits him because they're talking about Draupadi's the most beautiful and he already had a little altercation with her, right? She went and brought him something and she didn't want to to begin with and he's going to grab her arm and pull up her veil and you're beautiful trying to get with her. I was like, here we go again. Well, it clicks for him because when they were talking about Draupadi's there, you know, in hiding and she's the most beautiful woman ever and, and how can you miss her? It clicks on, he's like, it clicks in his head. I was like, oh, he knows it's Draupadi. And he's going to set him up because he's like, you know what? Tomorrow we're going to bring everybody in that came in this past year in the town. And we're going to bring them all in the room and, and let you, you know, check them out and see if they're the Pandavas. And, 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 they, and they're like, oh, you know. And they know he knows. They know he knows. And then Shakuni's smart. Shakuni figured out. He's like, I know why he knows. He must have seen the glint in his eye or something or the dirtiness of him. To know he's like, oh, he's trying, he tried to get with Draupadi. And he's gonna, he's gonna do some stuff tonight. He even knew that. He's like, he's gonna do some stuff tonight, calling Draupadi and giving them ultimatums and stuff. And what's gonna happen? He's like, Beam's gonna try to kill him. I was like, how'd you call this all, Shakuni? Shakuni, not, how did, you that smart? Like, I figure I'm smart, but I didn't call all that. Gonna happen. That, exactly that. Beam, you know, goes to kill him. But this is the thing. You know, they listen out for him. They're like, we're going to hear him get killed. We're going to hear him. Well, the Pandavas are on it. They are on it. They they got the little hunchback brother up there making the, the animals make noises. And then they have, <laughs> that's my favorite part. Pretty little Arjun up there starts doing his little dances. He's, I was like, oh, go Arjun. Go do your little pretty dances, Arjun. He looked, I wanted to dance with him even as a girl. I love, you know, I love me so much. <laughs> so they got all this noise going on and, you know, Beam's up in there and they fighting. Beam's like, oh no, you're going to mess with your party. He, they fighting up in there and all this sounds, but then it clicks in the shakun. He's like, all oh, this sounds, they try. So they ran to that shit. What is his name? Key check that the general's room. They ran there already too late. Done find him dead on the ground. So, so Beam and them got done, took off and, and they're like, oh, look, he's dead. And, and here comes the king. And, and they're like, we demand to see them now. Like, you know, that mean prince is going to make all his demands. Like he's the boss of everybody. And he's going to make a, and that, and so the king though, it seemed like he was, you know, with, when the general was alive, he would, the general did a lot of the leading. He would, he, you know, bossed around. I feel like the king, that king in Virat. Probably because he's you know the general in the arm, you know, or the, of their military, and and I guess when you control the military, you control some stuff, you know. But now that he's gone, and they start making the, these demands, that king is like, "Oh no, you get on out of here. You don't come up in my kingdom making demands. You don't come up." And that's why I was like, "How would you feel if they went up? This king went up in the hands to pour, and he started making demands." You would you would just let him get and make those demands? No, but he's gonna go crying back to daddy. You know, that, he's going to go crying back to the daddy. Ah, oh, they, they disrespected me, that king. They, 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 they. we're going to attack them. They, they, they. And you got to come, Bishma, be, be we're going to go to the gates and do this. Crying like a little baby, spoiled brat. They hurt me, daddy. This is their last day of the year. And all is going to be down to the last second. <laughs> last day. And here comes their army. Here comes Bishma and all their army and the mean prince of cunning, all of them. Right there outside the gates, just standing there. And and so the Pandavas like, well, no, we're not leaving. We're fighting. Because that king was like, go and leave. They're like, no, we ain't going to leave. We're going to help. We're going to fight. We ain't going to just leave it like that. Because that's, pan- that's what the Pandavas do. So I guess like on the other part, like behind the castle or something, they already started fights. Right? Like, because you see Beam and Yudi and all them out there fighting somebody. I was like, what's going on? I thought the army's here. But then they're fighting some other army over there. And, of course, Arjun can't go. They're like, Arjun, no. 
You can't go, Arjun. Of course, Drapati can't go. You stay, because he's a woman. He's like, you can't have a woman up on the battlefield, Arjun. They're going to know it's you. But they didn't know there was outside in the front gate because they're all over in the other part fighting. That Bishma's over there. Uh, they don't know that whole army's over there. But the people that's left in the palace did. Arjun did, like the queen did, Drapati. And and I guess it was the the um, the prince, the king's son. Because he's like, I'm going to go fight him. I'm a da -da -da -da. And our June's like, all right, let's go. I'll be your charioteer. I'll ride you. And they were like, what? Well, he's like, I won't let anybody hurt you, you know, or you can trust me. And they rode out. They rode out there. There's our June dressed as a woman riding in and the little boy going to go face this big old army. I was like, what they must have like saw. They're like, who is this? A woman driving, number one. And then this little boy. And then our June's like, show him. Put, throw, you know, pull back your, your bow, get an arrow, shoot an arrow. And that was the saddest little arrow shot. It went whoop like that. I was like, and even Beach was like, we can't attack that. Like, this is a little boy and a woman. We're going to have to wait. All this time, that sun's setting. That sun's setting. The day's almost over. Day's almost over. Sun's setting. And then... What happened then almost set in Arjun just takes off. He takes off because that boy ain't going to hit no, do no more arrows, ain't going to do nothing. And Arjun's like, all right, we're gone. He takes off. Go get, he goes up in the forest and gets his arrow and stuff. And, and that's when that prince saw him. He's like, oh, you're Arjun. Then he's going to come back. Then he's going to come back fighting because they're going to show up and, and, and they're going to shoot all the arrows. See, that's Arjun. Ar, Arjun's going to do all his stuff, his arrow and block it. And then who's going to show up Khan? I was like, oh, now you're going to show up Khan. It's always Khan. That blind prince can never stand up for himself, especially against Arjun. Oh, Khan. Going to go whine to his daddy. They they disrespected me. They only want to fight Khan. Can't do nothing for himself, him. Uh-uh. But there goes Arjun, Khan, battling it out. Battling, got things going, shooting things. And and then Bishma going to step up and be like, stop. Right in the middle of it. I was like, you better watch out, Bishma. You old. You're going to get hurt on that day. He's right there in that thing. He been like, this ain't the time or place. We're gonna, he, he ends it. He ends the fight and they're they going to go off and that kind of how this season ends. But I can't see what's because it's going to be, they're done with their exiles. So it's it's like, this is all preparing for the war. I feel like these next episodes. And what do I have? I have something like 28 ep seasons left. 28. And I'm on that way. I just finished 16. So that's like 11 more seasons all preparing in, in this war, for preparing for the war, and then it's going to be the war. And you know, y'all know I love it. Y'all know I love every minute of it. I'm going to keep it covered. I'm going to keep on watching these and bringing these, uh, these reviews for y'all because I can't get enough of it. I love it. You know I love everything, Mahabharat. Let me know what you think. Comments, thumbs, all that. Until next time, y'all. Mwah!